for a Saturday night right here at the very fabulous pump room here in Phoenix, Arizona. I notice, young lady, that you have a V-neck dress on. Slip down to your navel with a stunning ruby in your navel, I think. <laughs> now, I think it's quite gorgeous of her to do that. It's sort of chic with a new sack style. Oh, that's wonderful. You look lovely. It's a large ruby. <laughs> You're quite a large navel, sir. <laughs> Do you know the young lady? <laughs> well, that's what you get for carrying the flag at the Girl Scout parade. <laughs> you just can't win those games all the time. Does that V on that dress over there, does that V stand for virgin? Oh, it does? <laughs> Must be an old dress. <laughs> oh, you can't quite tell today. <laughs> Yes, I'll, every the first show, I always like to, um, what we like to call, sort of, uh, pick on a virgin on the first show. The second show, we like to pick on a, I think it's a professional hustler. <laughs> and the third show, I become a professional hustler. <laughs> tell you about my experiences. Sometimes the second show varies. I go into the married group and the older men. Sir, so would you mind turning your face towards me? I feel like I'm in the Navy here. <laughs> You know the old story about the gentleman that walks into his own home and finds his wife in bed with his best friend. He looks over and he says, George, I have to, but you? <laughs> well, of course, there's a little story about the gentleman who invented the first rocket that went to the moon. And he landed on the moon, and when he got off, he saw this beautiful woman sitting in front of this very, very large pot, stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring. He looked at the lady and he says, I beg your pardon. He says, I'm from Earth. What are you doing? She says, I'm from the moon and I'm making a baby. He says, really? And a few seconds later, out came this beautiful baby boy. He says, you know, we don't do it like that on Earth. And of course, she being sweet and innocent, moon girl, looked up and said, how do you do it on Earth? And naturally, he being in a true blooded American Legion member, said, oh, well, I'll show you, and took her behind the rock and exhibited his talents. And when he was all through, she says, where's the little baby? He said, well, my dear, that takes nine months. She said, well, if it takes nine months, what did you stop stirring for? <laughs> Come right in. Good evening. How do you do? One gentleman and three ladies. <laughs> there is a man that is contemplating a busy weekend. <laughs> Cost you three times as much, you're lucky to have a third of the fun. <laughs> oh, men have their little problems, don't they? <laughs> Would you like to buy me a drink to get me sexy? <laughs> Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. A lot of people, you know, especially the young gentlemen that are here tonight, they bring these young ladies out and they figure they like to get a drunk to do it. <laughs> Girls, isn't it fun playing drunk? <laughs> well, shall we lift our glasses up and toast sex? Such a wonderful thing. A lot of people don't realize that when you're sitting in a group like we are tonight, Sex is very important. Probably not to you because you're tired. <laughs> Let's just look at these youngsters over here. It's important. Very important. He's what they like to call biding his time until later. <laughs> he is preparing her for the future. And she's going to get it. <laughs> there she is, dear. He doesn't know quite when, but whenever he's ready, she'll get it. Oh, thank you very much for the drink. Who wants me? <laughs> thank you very much, sir. You really, I didn't really mean that when I said previously that I had to be drunk to do it, because, <laughs> oh no, it used to be my profession, and I understand. <laughs> One drink you think would do it? Welcome to a Saturday.